Hey everyone, welcome back. I have an auto volcano guide for you. Now, these are not the best teams or the fastest, but the teams I use to clear. Start doing volcano, you need 24 units, gear for those units, three ships, and it's recommended to use three operators. B side did just nerf the floor, so it's a bit easier to do, but it still requires a lot, so not recommended for early game players. Though you could probably still clear a few floors if you're interested in the gear. Which, by the way, is very niche set of gears and more than likely will require investing a lot of resources to make even one good set. Since this is an auto guide, I'm not going to go too much into details on the mechanics as we're just autoing through it anyways. I will mention some to understand why I picked the units I did. If you don't have the same units as the ones on my teams, the best advice would be to look up other jungle guides and mix and match to what best suits you. But all right, let's get into it. All right, so here's Volcano. I'm currently on 63. Gotta show you level 50 though. Here's my first team with Olive Operator. I think Olive's really good here. Now I have Orca on full CDR gear, maze, attack. Shaolin on crit damage, so attack, attack would work. Administrator Shieldman just on regular tank gear, HP, HP. Gayun, I'm running A speed with anti defender. Body is just on some basic CDR gear, 67%. Seiyun's gear really doesn't matter, she's just there for the buff, but I threw something on her. And then Dorothy on as much attack speed as possible. Roy's on HP HP tank gear with a ZE. And then my Detroit trip's actually pretty good for counters. Not the best, but it helps. Here's my team two. We got Esther Rosa lead. Standard tank gear. As much ground res as possible. Awaken Chifu on my best skill haste maze gear. Shinatsu on my best CDR tank gear. Well, tank support gear, rather. Ifrit I have on anti-ranger. So, uh, it probably better anti-striker, anti-defender. Same with Terminators. I just have them on some kind of gear. Only on the CDR tank gear, so she can get as many specials in as possible. Amina on attack speed. Um, granted, this is skill haste. Uh, Brita attack speed is probably better. Or Blaze. Going for CP points here. Gabriel, I have on HP, HP tank. But he's really there just because he's a TU6 and he gave me more CP points. Though on a manual strat, you could actually deploy him in the back, like behind your units. Um, and he'll tank the, the boss's attack that attacks your backline. You could probably also use Raph. Blue Bridge is not that great. Kind of has some decent subs for counters. And for my third team here, we're running Casey, full tank gear. Oh, Administrator of Sword Fighters on A speed of tank gear. Peacekeeper is here for the CP, but they're on anti defender attack speed. Troopers can replace them just as easily. Administrator Rifleman here running anti defender as well. Revenants on. As much skill haste as I can. 
on Sorum's on attack, bullet, anti-defender. Gang is on whatever gear I can give her. She's just there for the buff, really, and the extra defender. It's kind of running out of options here. Warden's on anti-striker attack speed. Then we have Matador. Subs are meh. But they work. It's a 130 ship. Alright, so a little bit about the mechanics that you're going to be dealing with. Uh, the stages. Burn your units by 0 0.05 per second, so they slowly lose HP over time. Recommended to have healers, but we try to get away with it to get more damage in. First boss is going to spawn a bunch of adds here. Then you're just going to get right up in his face. Orca ulti, since it's a CO, she does extra damage. Gaian's gonna sit here and apply a damage amp. Claudia's gonna do her best to keep everyone healthy. And then we just throw in some buffers at the end for more damage. Boy kinda comes in to apply some damage amp, and if Orca dies, he'll take over the, for tanking. Okay, here we go into part two. This fight's a little drawn out. But we're getting a Chifu on the field as soon as possible. That's a Rosa. Some more ads to deal with. Nasu's gonna do her best to keep her alive. You can see there's some anti defender there, so having an anti ranger if it's probably not the best idea. Lure is going to come in with some reinforcements here. And since again it's a CO, Lonely is going to sit there and apply 40% uh, defense down. And as you see, the, the boss has killed my Chinatsu because he keeps throwing that little flame tornado into the back. But you can sit there and employ Gabriel just a little bit behind Chinatsu where she stands. And then he'll tank all of the those shots instead of her. Nasu does a really good job in my opinion on this, but A Sigma can also replace her. A Sigma's probably really good on this stage, to be honest. Got Amina over there, soloing the boss. But yeah, periodically add spawn. Your units have to deal with that as the fight goes on. So here we go into the third stage. I find this stage to be the easiest uh, of the three, to be honest, and I really like it, the strategy I'm using here. So like I said, over the fight, you constantly are getting burned. And in this fight, you actually get some invulnerability shields. And just playing soldiers on Matador, the lower your HP gets, the more damage your soldiers do. So you end up just exponentially burning the boss down faster. Now. Your tanks and frontline might die, but you cycle quick enough because of the low cost of the soldiers and the extra DP you're gaining that you never really have to worry about your frontline. Once the boss gets down to a certain percentage, he'll jump back. 
after doing a damage check like that. Yeah, I just have to finish off these ads real quick. And then you just finish the boss off. You may see your units die after the win. It's funny, but it doesn't matter all too much. Again, for every clear, first time clear, you get a hundred uh, dimension or blazing course, which allows you to craft. And there you have it, Volcano 50 on auto. I had fun making this for you all, and with the recent news, B side will be buffing this gear, so maybe it'll be good now. Besides that, I hope this guide helps you. If you have any questions, you can find me on Snake Cord. Link will be in the description. If you'd like to see any other content, feel free to drop a suggestion in the comments below. Besides that, I will see you next time.